I am loving this. It's cool. <laughs> Look at the moon. <laughs> oh my god. Good morning! Today we are going to Salem, Massachusetts. We're gonna do all the spooky, witchy things, and I'm just ready. We're gonna have a wonderful day. Hello, y'all. I really fuck with the beret. You like it? Give me, yeah, give me which, um... Fit check? Can I do my outfit too as well? Come in. I mean, you'll see, mine's very much just basic. Black. But. She's cute. There really is, it's like how many times have There's like a lot of people here. <laughs> look at the witches. Oh my god, look at that scary ass thing on stilts. That is spooky also. <laughs> that is so crazy. Just like the nightmare. There's like, I was not expecting like there to be like characters on the sides of the wall. Look okay. it. I feel like I'm in Disney World. Yeah, right? This, it's way better than like another <laughs> What? <laughs> Do you want to go get a... Wait. Where did Sierra go? <laughs> that is... That's creepy. I'm loving this. It feels like Disney World. Literally. I'm in my element. Got some food, got some coffee here. This is incredible. They should give it to you for free since you have to build it yourself. Welcome, everybody. Yay! 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 Yay!
We have to pee so bad, but we're running a little late. Here, toss us the keys, just in case. Just go right down moon. South Street. Okay. Um, past the train tracks on the left. I believe you. Run, Sierra, you got this. Look at the moon. Are you joking? You guys are gonna have to sub in or something. She did not say that. Yeah, I swear to God. She I really thought. Do you yeah. see that she's somewhere? Yeah. I was like, I'm, I would run out there and be like, <laughs> be like, please don't. I think whatever. I could like. No. I, I think I could not. like try. No, I would not. I want you guys to picture the Pikmin house, sort of. Um, the prison, of course, was not three stories. It was one, possibly two. Um, it certainly wasn't as, like, square. And in this jail, they had what were called coffin cells. And, of course, Old Salem Jail was where many of our witch trial victims were held before their eventual execution. Our prisoners would be held in, essentially, a wooden closet, not too much bigger than the square of stone that we're standing on right now, if you can see it. And they would be shackled up in this wooden closet, and if they were lucky, they would have a pile of hay at the bottom of their cell and downstairs. A little further on in time, we see the first departures from this original death pen. The boner way. Yeah, I'm usually really bad at doing tours. The boner way. You were really bad at it the whole time, just so you know. No, I was not. I, think, <laughs> I, I was really interested in other stories. Is this like someone's oh, house? So I'm gonna do like a full review when the lighting is better, but basically we just did that tour and there's so much to, there's so many layers to like Salem and to life and there is, oh my God, Eric. It's just crazy hearing about like the real stuff that went down and then like all the legends and like how old everything is here and we're on top of so many layers of history and I'm gonna do a full review when we either get back home or to the airport because <laughs> the lighting, but yeah, I could stay here forever. We came out for more drinks and food and I forgot to vlog, so here we are now. These are the only boxes they have for this tiny ass bowl. So we don't know yet. Hey, you're coming home with me. <laughs> Good morning. It's unfortunately, it is unfortunately our last day in Massachusetts. It's actually less than our last day because we're going to the airport in like a little bit. It's our last. Because I had to say it a few times, okay? You would get it if you were a real reality TV show person. <laughs> anyway, we're just like packing up our stuff and like eating some popovers and stuff, and then we're gonna go to the airport. <laughs> Walk in a circle one more time. 
<laughs> Bye. Okay, say it now for the record. Okay, woohoo! Happy Halloween! Alright everyone, so now that I am back from my trip to Massachusetts, I just want to do a little bit of a review. I, it was amazing to see my friend Sierra. We have been friends for a very long time now. And it was awesome just being able to visit and see the way that she lives and all the things that she does on a daily basis. But since this, this specific video was about Salem, I thought I would just give a little review. I literally felt like I was in Halloween Town walking the streets. And granted, that may have been just because it is October and Obviously, Salem is known for the witch trials and since then all of the other spooky stuff, but it was just so, I guess, enlightening, really getting to understand the history of a place like that and the fact that, you know, Chicago is the second city because, you know, Boston is like the first and the way that people lived there and people settled, settled there like hundreds of years ago at this point. It's crazy to see like the buildings that are somehow still standing from, you know, the 1600s or the fact that the grounds are literally built on top of burial grounds. It really makes you think and gives you a whole other perspective to the path that you're walking down. And I really appreciated that. I also loved that you could wear whatever you want, be whoever you want, and no one's gonna look twice. Places like Vegas, Salem, LA, like those kind of places where you can just be your own unique self, like that is something that totally entices me and like it truly makes me feel like I could live there forever um, because I feel like as a society we don't embrace like the weird sides of us a lot. We want to fit in, we want to, you know, look the same, like today I everyone looks the same, everyone acts the same like there's this very specific way that you're supposed to be in a given environment I suppose and I just I'm just not really down with that you know that's half the reason this channel exists because it's all about you know just living large embracing your true self being crazy going against the grain like literally just like doing you like humans are so intricate and complex and like why are we pretending to be something we're not, you know what I mean? But anyway, um, every single storefront was spooky and unique and incredible and the drag show that we just literally just came upon with like its little Halloween theme and everything, everything was just like perfect. The weather was incredible that day. Going on the Salem night tour was it was just awesome learning about the myths, for one, of the Salem Witch Trials, and two, the, the truths of the Salem Witch Trials, how we think that it's often portrayed that, you know, the witches were burned at the stake, and that really only happened in, like, Europe, who were executed for, you know, being witches in Salem, were, for the most part, hung. And it's just really, I think, really important, too, that we dive into the archives and go to the museums and figure out like the real truth because especially in today's day and age there is so much you know fake news and everything like no one it's really hard to find the real story we're taught in history class a, a, a version of the truth a certain type of story it was just incredible being able to be there and feel feel the history and almost like be a part of it and 100 percent would go back and visit again or move in take your pick i hope you've enjoyed this spooky season as much as i have and that you live large this weekend have a wonderful halloween i highly encourage you to go visit a friend that you haven't seen in a while make that trip happen and also embrace your spooky your weird side the side of you that you don't let show a lot of the time. 
Um, thanks everyone for tuning in. Keep living large. Catch you on the flip.